Dude, the difference between Taylor Swift attending and Taylor Swift not attending the Super Bowl is like literally millions of dollars of revenue, hundreds of millions of dollars of revenue, potentially. Oh, I got to say something about the Lions. So I know a little bit about football because like Will tells me all about it. I'm at the airport at the Austin International Airport last night. And what's going on is the Lions game is, is actually on the TV. And normally I don't really care about that sort of thing at all. But like I'm a little bit invested partially because of like the whole Taylor Swift versus Stavi baby angle that's going on on the other side or was going on on the other side, which I'll get to in a second, you know, the Baltimore Ravens. I see that the Lions, and I know very little about them, but I see that the Lions are like, they have like a like a 17 point lead or something, right? And I was like, wow, that's cool. So then I get on the flight. And then when I land, people are talking about how God hates the Lions, okay? That they are an affront to God. I got off the plane and they lost. How the f is that possible? Like they were cooking. And now you got the 49ers versus the Chiefs, right? For those of you who don't know, the Chiefs are uh, now the, the manufactured Mickey Mouse team in the league. Let's be real. Obviously, partially because of the whole new, entire new demographic that is captivated by football with the very public relationship of Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey. And on the other side, you, of course, had Baltimore Ravens. Uh, Baltimore Ravens is a bit of an underdog in this story uh, and, and uh, you know, is, is being propped up by the sheer might of a uh, friend of the show, Stavi Baby, also known as Stavros Halkius, also known as Ronnie from Dundalk. Uh, Ronnie the Raven, I texted him already. Hold on. I, I did. <laughs> I'll tell you about that in a second. I read that Taylor Swift has brought in over 300 million in revenue for the NFL this year. Crazy shit. So knowing what I know about the way sports works, I'm going to say it. It's scripted. There was no way that Baltimore was winning that. The Ravens were not an underdog. Okay, sh just let me, let, me, let me build this narrative. Let me build the narrative that the Ravens were the underdog. Okay, shh, stop. It's scripted. The NFL is scripted. Okay, it's scripted. I'm sorry. Ain't no fucking way... Is the Taylor Swift Travis Kelsey relationship not making it to the Super Bowl? Okay. And they're not going to lose either. This is America's story. The normies can only talk about one thing and one thing only Travis Kelsey and Taylor Swift's romance. I went on TikTok after last night's uh, uh, Ravens defeat, immediately texted Stavi. I said to him these words. Can't believe America's real team lost to a f***ing psyop so more people will watch a Geico commercial. <laughs> I won't tell you what he responded with, but he seems very upset. <laughs> okay? Now, they love the Travis Kelsey Taylor Swift shit, and I'm on board with it. I, it's great. I think it's wonderful. The normies, this is all they care about. Conflict in the Middle East? Who gives a f***? When is there not conflict in the Middle East, Okay. Border wars happening? Is there going to be a civil war? Who cares? Civil war, schmivel war. Travis Kelsey and Taylor Swift is on the cover of every magazine, People Magazine, all the newspapers. Everyone is talking about Travis Kelsey and Taylor Swift. Now, there's obviously the other side of this. Yes, this chatter is correct. It's all fun and games until Taylor Swift makes a breakup song about Kelsey, at which point I think we America's collapse will happen. I don't want to know what happens if they break up and I honestly hope that that doesn't happen okay because whew, I don't know what will accelerate the collapse of empire further Taylor Swift has generated a whopping 330 million dollars of the NFL with Travis Kelsey romance money talks and Taylor Swift is certainly not the problem for the NFL the pop megastar has been a financial boom for the NFL and for the Kansas City Chiefs in the wake of a romance with the star tight end Travis Kelsey according to a new report Front Office Sports recently reported that Swift has created a brand value of $331 million for the Chiefs and the NFL, citing data from Apex Marketing Group. This data accounted for print, digital, radio, television highlights, and social media monitoring. Swift, since uh, she attended her first Chiefs game on September 24th through January 22nd, one day after her divisional round appearance in Buffalo, and calculated a financial amount for each occurrence based on reach and impact, according to the report. 
The burning of jerseys alone would collapse our ecosystem. I don't know what will happen. All I will tell you is this, to understand like how much normie appeal this has and how popular this is, ESPN posted a TikTok of them right after like the 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 Chiefs win. Okay? Where Travis Kelsey turns back at the camera and is like, "Oh, the cameras are around, but I don't care." And then caresses her, grabs her by the small of her back and lands a big fat smooch right on her mouth okay there are people talking about how travis kelsey is going to uh you know win the super bowl the chiefs are going to win the super bowl and then taylor swift and travis kelsey are going to get married very publicly and then they're going to have a child and then we, the the next america baby boom is going to happen i saw that tweet and i think it's real i think that's what's going on the Chiefs win the Super Bowl. Kelsey passes the trophy to Taylor before promptly getting down on one knee and proposing. Two months pass as she announced her pregnancy. Marriages and birth rates skyrocket. The CCP collapses. Amazon moves headquarters to Kansas City. The S&P hits 9,000. What happens if the 49ers win? I think if the, if the 49ers win, it's not all that devastating. Like, I don't think the Swifties care about football that much. Like, I just think that they'll stop caring about it because Taylor Swift is no longer going to be attending football games anyway. They care more about not football necessarily, but the relationship and like Travis Kelsey winning, but they don't have like an investment in the team, right? Well, yes, I digress. Going back to the main story at hand. Yes, the NFL is scripted. Yes, it was written ahead of time that, of course, Travis Kelsey's cheese was going to win. There's no other way to go about it. They were going to go to the Super Bowl, whether you like it or not. There is nothing you can say or do about it that could have changed this, okay? Yes, Taylor Swift can easily make the Super Bowl 58. Why is this a concern? Because she's supposed to be in Tokyo. She has a concert in Tokyo on Saturday, February 10th at 6 p.m. local time. Tokyo to Las Vegas is 12 hours. Tokyo, 16 hours plus, uh, 16 plus hours to Las Vegas. Swift leaves Tokyo at noon on Sunday 11. Arrives in Las Vegas at, Vegas at 8 a.m. Sunday 2:11. Uh, Super Bowl kickoff is at 3.28 p.m. And then her next concert is, is I mean, she's back on the other side of the world, okay? She has to make a, yeah, she has like a full 24 hours, full 24 hours to make the flight due to uh, the, the scheduling conflict, I guess. She might not be able to fly private because McCarran does not have time slots available according to this article. Brother, if you think that McCarran is not going to open up space for taylor swift specifically i don't know what to tell you she will fly you're out of your mind if you think that that's not going to happen you're she's taylor swift like there is not a person on the planet right now in this very space that we exist in that is more important to a multi-billion dollar operation than taylor swift getting into las vegas you're out of your dang mind if you think that they would not ship her in Dude, the difference between Taylor Swift attending and Taylor Swift not attending the Super Bowl is like literally millions of dollars of revenue, hundreds of millions of dollars of revenue potentially. So it's not even a question that it will happen. Anyway, Will and I have been uh, Travis Kelsey defenders from the jump because he's a big boy and I like that. But here is a friend of the show. <laughs> Fellas, rig the out. Roger Goodell, I know what you've done. I know you fix the Super Bowl so little girls will watch the Super Bowl. <laughs> Super Bowl ain't for little girls, Roger Goodell. It's for grown men with gambling addictions and drinking problems. They're getting their wages garnished by AutoZone. They're getting their wages garnished by AutoZone. <laughs> I see the Reddit that proves that he's actually Patrick Mahomes' dad's cousin. Yeah, I want that cheating ass ref to know. Never mind, I don't want him to know nothing. Fuck <laughs> you, Patrick Mahomes, why are you so good? <laughs> Do you want to keep playing football so you don't have to hang out with your annoying ass wife? <laughs> that bitch looks like a mouse that yells at waiters. <laughs> <laughs> Travis Kelsey, you get the vaccine and all of a sudden you're in the Super Bowl. Convenient, yeah? I just can't defend Kelsey. He reminds me too much of Jake Paul, a dude from Ohio who just wants to be spicy white to put on the black scent to seem cool. That's it. Dude, Travis Kelsey is not like Jake Paul at all. You're out of your mind. I bet $60,000 on the Ravens. Tabitha, baby, take me back. I ain't got the money, babe. 
Let's put a mortgage on your mom's trailer, okay? Cal Ripken Jr. Jr. cannot grow up without a dad. My bookie's going to chop my penis off. <laughs> NFL, replay the game. Let us use Joe Flacco as a quarterback. Please replay it. That's all. That's fair. Replay the game because you fixed it. And this time we get Joe Flacco. Uh, he said the ref, dude, every part of this is slammed. Okay. Jam packed. The NFL is rigged. Yeah.